and we're back with the next monarch's journey and i've selected the third in the row high chief zaad mordecai of house aldavla i've decided to going forward um put the thumbnail of the videos in the house sigil rather than the um county or kingdom or whatever sigil because that constantly shifts and changes plus crusader kings 2 is more about a dynasty than the country itself as it changes which it just said right so uh we're not even going to look at the challenges here all that much because there are a lot of things that don't really make sense without the further tooltips suffice it to say that we are the high chief and we control baghdad so yeah it's it's interesting we are sunni I figured that we might be Jewish due to the challenges, but we'll see. So let's just jump straight in. We're going to play Iron Man as it is custom. And maybe we have another re uh, repeating of King Lilliwin of Gunet, where we had to restart after episode two because just things did not go our way. But we'll see. So let us go. We go in the cloud, of course, and start the Iron Man situation because clouds are the present and future right so let's first check our uh situation we are part of the huan and which i assume is going to be the protectorate um no it's an incarnate um yeah there we go the Yuan are the Lord Protectors of the Chinese, right? So, um, we are part of something really, really huge, really. Several huge necessities. We are part of this empire here. And we are part of the Western Protectorate. Now, where are we? We are over here. And what do we own? We own just this county baghdad which is a good county to own we have um two cities already a temple and our own barony now what is interesting to me is that our sigil has a different form than the other ones these are islam this is something different that's christian that is because we are a secret jew an israelite interesting i didn't even know that the sigil form would change on a secret religion so let us check what we have here we need four jewish council men members which i think would be easiest to accomplish early on honestly where it doesn't matter all that much to upset many vassals we need to have 12 vassals with a 60 plus opinion which is pretty much doable uh, let's see. I need to figure. Featured rulers dynasty. Okay. Featured rulers dynasty. Okay, this one was really interesting because the text doesn't give it away exactly what it is. Secret stays with me. Kills and bonus points. All right. So let us see. Saad al Davla was murdered by his enemies who disagreed with his religion. Let's turn the tables. Playing as the featured ruler, continue to practice Judaism in secrecy while pretending to be a Sunni Muslim. Kill as many Muslim religion and Mongol culture characters as possible. Duel, assassinate or execute them. See, this is a fairly clear text. I'm just having one issue and that is the end there. Muslim and Mongol characters. Does that mean they have to be both or is it either or? Um, but it says very clearly dueling assassinating or executing them all work so that's going to be nice yes mongol muslims ah there it says there it clears right up yes mongol muslims are worth two points kills where your complicity is hidden is worth another point progress for this challenge stops if you should change religion the challenge is only accomplishable with the featured ruler during their lifetime all right so we already know what we need to start on and we have a bit of a target list which to be quite honest uh, i'm going to write down on a piece of paper because otherwise i'm going to 
Look at that. 50 million times. So here we go. Real old school. Have a little piece of paper there. And I want to write down what gives us kill points. So execute, right? Execute. Um, duel. Duel. And assassinate. So that's nice. I have a few ideas of where we should start here. And... Alright. Mongol. Muslim. Are each worth one point. Combined two points. And... If... Hidden... Plus one... Point. Very good. Very interesting. So... This already gives us a very clear thing where we should start. We start here because we can only do it playing him. Now let's read a little bit about him because I only noticed now that you actually get a little bit of a explanation on these rulers and I like it. During his lifetime, Sa'ad al-Davla would be the bridge that supported Jewish peace and prosperity in Baghdad. His reputation and knowledge as a physician would give him the chance to cure Argun Khan of an ailment, forming a great trusting relationship, friendship, and allowing Sa'ad to secure a safe haven for Jews to live. In position and relationships with Argun, and the fact that he was Jewish would cause much hatred from Mongolians who wanted to corrupt the flow of finances, and Muslims who did not enjoy the idea of having a Jew in a position of power over them. But we start also very late in the game. Let's see, how old are we? We are 49. That is terrible. Our intrigue skill is almost non-existent. We do not have any rivals to start on it. So um, what we would need to do is, quite honestly, select the intrigue um, position. We will have a chance to switch one more time, I think, in our lifetime. Uh, the idea is we select intrigue then we find a wife with a high intrigue skill then we find um an a uh, counselor with a very high intrigue skill to push us even further but we already see that we have a plus 12 here uh we are patient brave ambitious nothing here takes away from our intrigue skill could just do more so we'll take this interestingly we have we do not have any children ourselves so let's maybe change that Let's find ourselves a wife who has a very high intrigue skill. And is also good at things other than that. So these two first two are actually a pretty decent choice. This one is a grey eminence, giving her plus fertility and she's lustful. So I feel like we should take her. She gives us a non-aggression pact with someone we don't really care about that right now. Levantine might be more interesting in terms of direct uh, relation, but it's just a count which we get here. So we'll take her as our wife there. And we shall pick an ambition. Now, the ambition is not really going to help us all that much. We don't really want titles. We don't want to do any of these things, really. Uh... <sighs> Making a friend might help because it gives us popular once we conclude it. Uh, creating a treasury might also help. Giving some opinion once it's done. But I feel like we might want to go and just go with groom and heir. Because I'm not sure how long it might take us to make a friend. So let's go with Groom and Air. I might be picking the entirely wrong things right now, but uh, we'll have to see about it. Right, a designated a uh, regent. Let it be... You are Shia. So he'll be that because he's Shia Muslim. We don't really want to kill him. I think it's... No, it's just Muslim. Shia, whichever, it doesn't really matter. Court physician... Cupbearer will go by highest opinion there. Let's just improve a little bit here. Court musician, that doesn't hurt us. Court poet, chief architect. We'll go with our council members first. 
Though we might be replacing some of them, as I just said. Or tutor can be this man. Alright, my council here. Very good. We have at least one slot that we could easily switch out. But again, I feel like we should wait a little bit on that. So we'll go here. First of all, let us explore the characters. And we might have to create a new... Let's see. Um, we don't want... Let's see what happens if we do not my religion. We get Shia. We get Miaphysite. Mm. So we, we definitely want... Not my culture. But we also want... My religion. Or my religion group rather. So we get Shia, Mongols. So she, for example, would be a lovely, lovely target. She is... In our realm. She is a child. So these are usually a bit easier to kill. Uh, let's see. Where exactly is she? She is in Kurabad Hom. Uh, which is... No idea. Where are you, girly? Oh, okay. We need to... Let's search our vassals first. Let's see if we got someone here. Because this was a little bit too far. And we go by age. Ah, very interesting. Okay, Levanta and Levanta and these are just Muslims. Okay, there's no Mongol in our court. So I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to find them. Join court, yes. And ideally, we want not my culture. And we'll sort by culture because first what we want is... Mongols who are also Sunni or any sort of religion here. Ideally, we want any of a very, very low intrigue skill because those should have fairly low protection against any sort of um, any sort of plots against them. Let's make them special interest targets as well. Let's check if what I'm telling you is actually correct. High Intrigue improves chances of uncovering plots and carrying out. Okay, but all these are pretty pretty good choices here. They're all pretty low. We'll invite a whole lot to court for once not to court them. Haha. <laughs> but to actually kill them. Oh, I already did her. Oh. These just have the exact same name. Like That got me on a little bit so you would be the next one so let's see she has a very high intrigue skill so that's not a good idea he has a very low one again and again each of these is worth up to two points Potentially more, depending on how well hidden we might act here. And we need 16 for gold. So we need at least 8 of these that we actually manage to kill in the end. So let's see. First we just invite everyone who has a fairly low intrigue skill. These are the first, and that's two, four, six, eight. Okay, now let's get us some buffer Mongols as well. Just some buffer Mongols. We should have a decent amount of uh, non Mongol Sunni or even just culturally Mongol. Let's get her as well. And him as well. So we have a whole lot of them coming in right now. So that, that would be nice. We can press some du jour claims. Let's see how strong are we, militarily speaking. 3,000. Let's get a better overview here. How strong are you? 3,000 also. What pacts do we have? None yet. Uh, we are unmarried. We can create a title. A duchy, which we're definitely not going to do because we are a duke ourselves. Creating a duchy would 
kind of hurt ourselves. And thus we begin our journey as High Chief Za'ad Mordecai of the Al Tavla High Chiefdom. And if you look in our family tree, we only have a father and no mother, Hibat Al Tavla. Alright. Okay. So, we'll go slow because we have very little time in this world. And we want to make the best of it. Okay. So, these people are slowly filtering in here. So the filter that we just used, we're going to adjust to just show in our court. Actually, we don't even need to do that. Alright. We'll just wait until everyone is there. Okay, let's see who has zero. Start with those people. You have zero, you're in my court. Lovely. So we'll plot to kill him and we're also going to spy on him, which might give us a chance to um, go ahead and take him out prematurely. Now we're going to use our spy master and spy here because they're all in our court anyway. They will increase our plot power. Now what we need to do is we need to check our intrigue here. And see who we might be able to invite. If this man who is a commander. I have a good few men here. Who are you? Alright, let's go by rank first. Because higher rank are somewhat unlikely to gossip about what they're doing. And you're my spy master anyway, so you will be invited. And you will also be invited. Let's see, how much money do we have? 76 gold. Ooh, we're really decadent though. That's not ideal. Um, we should go on Hajj. That reduces some of it. So we don't have infinite time, so let's get a commander as well, and that should push us over 100%. And go on Hajj. To reduce our decadence a little bit. People are joining. See what secrets he is hiding. Once the... I don't really care. Bulls of... Yeah, okay, things are happening. Alright, I'm preparing for my travel to Mecca and I have understood that there are members of my court that have not yet gone on pilgrimage to Mecca. Okay. Yazar, what are you? You're a Sunni Levantine. You're not especially interesting to us. So let us take him along. Uh, increasing our opinion of each other by 10 for 1000 months. That's quite a time, so let's do it. It costs us a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Having this friend here with us. And there's someone backing our plot. There's a crusade against our religion coming up, which we could join. Okay. Right, traveling sea causes us to feel seasick, but our friend, I think, no, someone, a Hafiz, is quoting the Holy Quran. So this makes us feel good again. Lovely. Uh, let us join as a defender of our faith. Why not? Okay, we have managed to get lost in the desert. Now, trusting would be a very bad uh, trait for us to get. Having one less health would be even worse, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to try. We'll just have to try. So let's see what happens. Um, we know best. Okay. 
Someone is very wicked. Don't care. No. Not so much. Going at a snail's pace here. Yes, we will definitely sit down and listen to the old man as he talks. And we gain a whole stewardship out of it. Thank you very much, old man, for enlightening us. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. And our friend coming along with us. We're really good at stewardship. And we are humbled as we arrive in Mecca. Let's see, proud, prestige. Yeah, I think we will shout at every circuit. Maybe we become proud. Good. This has invigorated us, so we get a health. Meaning that the health we lost in the desert should be offset. Catch up with some fellow pilgrims. And they have been beset by bandits. Oh no. Uh, we could raise our piety a little bit by helping them. And I think we should. We lose more gold on it, but... That's all right. Anyone else we could invite? Very good. Yes, him. Jihad for Persia. Okay. How do we join that? Like this. But he is... Okay, we, we would defend against him if he joined our liege. We'll just wait it out. We might join. Don't really care all that much. Very good. We have another supporter of high rank. And Yazar is the man we went on Hajj with. Which is nice. We didn't even get the event telling us that we're done with Hajj. Oh, because we're not. The guy we went with is done with his travels, but we are not. There we go. Now we are, uh... Arjaj? I feel. But it didn't decrease our decadence. It was a shame. I figured it might. I thought it would. What else could we do? Um... Okay, right. I forgot one more thing that I wanted to do. We're going to join the assassins. Because I feel like assassinating people sounds like assassination work for assassins. Okay, one of the women we checked on here was burn at the stake um assassins are a constant danger that every ruler may have to face to prepare you have decided to expand the size of a personal bodyguard any would be high chief slayer would be f uh, would have to fight them first so we get plus one intrigue that is nice that comes from the intrigue focus propping us up a little bit more and given our spouse and our counselors um additions to our own skills here Oh, actually, we can have secondary wives. I, 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 I forgot. Uh, let's get some secondary wives. Also very high skilled in intrigue. It doesn't add really to us, but um, yeah. Doesn't hurt us either. Uh, well, we would lose a lot in prestige. Uh, so let's go by rank. And then by age. And then by this. Why? She's so lovely. I don't really want to lose... Okay. Which one is up? Do you have a high rank or a low rank? Because that looks like you're all low, low ranking. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this gives us five prestige. I think she's one of our targets. Yeah, she is. Good. Let's get her as our uh, second wife.
Uh, rank? Rank, 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 yes. 22. Good. And the third one. Rank, great, rank. Uh, in. No. Nothing good there right now. Let's check through them. Did everyone come to the court? That man did not come to the court, so we can stop looking at him. Good. Everyone else is here. And you are 16. But marrying us would probably cost us prestige. Right. We have found nothing new about him. But we could lie about him. So people might want to join us in trying to kill him. 14% chance that he finds out. So let's just try. Okay, he did not find out. There's just vicious rumors about him. So can add more people to the plot very likely. Ah. Look at that. I think he was already there before. We'll add everyone who adds a good amount here. Because we need to speed this along. This is taking too long. The more people you involve, the, the higher the likelihood it's going to be discovered. But also the higher the likelihood someone actually figures out a way how to kill him. Yes, yes, everybody joins. Everybody's happy. Let's start. I'm not going to live forever, so... Let's get this going. I have a feeling that these um, Monarch's Journey characters... Very high likelihood of getting the... Event chain for immortality. Okay. Our wife is pregnant. That one anyway. Right, very good. Okay, there's the first plan. A snake to kill the man. Let's hope it works out for us. Our steward was wounded by peasants. Uh, can't be helped. Not entirely sure why this is blinking, I think, because we have this open. Yeah. Okay, peasants are angry. Very good. So the snake per performed its duty. And no one knows we were involved. So looking at my little list here, that should be the first three points in our little basket. So let's pause and check. And we got no points. Right, let's unpause real quick for a moment later and then check again. There we go. Three points. Good. So next target, uh, we check. Ah, she does have a zero. And we already start out at 91%. So let's see. Our spy master. No, our imam. Man, this man. He really hates people. Here's our good friend from doing all these good friend things. It's always willing to help. Our wife is, of course, willing to help. And, of course, our chancellor is willing to help. Lovely. And that should be enough. We start out at 91%. We should go straight to 200 or something with all these people involved. So let's see how many people we can actually kill in a month. Yeah, it's true. Don't need to spy on him anymore. Let's spy on her. See what we can find out about her. Yeah, we're already over 200% and 
isn't everyone there? Oh, we might even reach 300%. Yep, we did. She's she's well well liked. Looks like poor 16-year-old girl. Okay. Protector General Shigu of the Wuan has decreed that the fury of heaven shall rain up down upon on Raja Nijatopal Nijapal. Um okay. Cool. So we're at war with something over there soon. We don't really care. We don't really mind. We have other things to do. We're looking primarily inward here. Not so much outward. And I enjoy that. I like that. That That's a fun thing. This is a monarch's journey. Not too focused on... Very good, okay. So we have a chance. Floorboards abandoned in on a path. All right, let's see. See if we can kill her as... In such a way. This battle is not going to go too well for him once this army joins this army. Yeah. Well, he won the first one and lost the second once the enemy arrived. Oh, very good. Okay. She died, but uh, sadly people know it was us. Um, he was the one telling everyone. So we can imprison him. Which is nice. I mean, he's Sunni. That's a point at least, so... Uh, let us imprison him and also execute him. Uh, execute him. Cost us 20 piety with which we can live. Oh boy. He was crushed to death by elephants. That's a way to go. Ouch. Hey, we need a new commander. Who, who would have known? Uh, we're not going to put our good Mongols in there because that's a, a shame. Let's unpause real quick. Repause. And there's a bronze challenge. Very good. We are at 6 out of 10. That's going quite swimmingly. Um, I don't want to make this too long in the beginning. But we've gotten two done already. It should proceed more or less on the same length. Let's already pick out our next target. We're going to go with the weak and easy ones first. So, let's plot to kill her. Poor gal. And who will join us? See, there's now people less willing to join us because we are now a known murderer. So we'll have to actually bribe them a little bit to invite them successfully. Which is a shame. Uh, but it can't be helped. This is what the money is for, for now. Uh, he's a bit too expensive for us. 37 gold. 15 gold is what we can afford. And we'll leave it at that. Should get us well over 100% still. Very good. And I think we'll see how this uh, little plot here works out for us next time round.